everyone so I am back <laughs> with my um, brown tan zoom dear boy who has ridiculously long hair going on right now <laughs> this this hair was actually braided up before but I accidentally released them so I'm awesome so now it's back to long and unruly, but I don't know. He can get away with it, whatever. Uh, <laughs> so basically this video is just about the future plans I have to, for this boy. I don't know. I want to keep you updated on him because it's going to take a while to get him completely together. And I just, I don't know. I want to make people aware of that. I don't know why. <laughs> I guess I'm just, I'm really excited about him right now. And I've. I've been wanting to get back to, you know, starting to do videos again about pretty much everything I want to talk about rather than just waiting till I have like major something to pass along. And I figure, you know, if no one's interested, of course, they can just pass over this video. That is perfectly fine with me. I don't know. I just don't have, you know, anyone really to talk about this. To, except for of course you lovely youtubers and so I don't know I just <laughs> I wanted to get back to basics and start sharing everything I would like to sh share rather than just you know oh I'm, I'm getting this doll or, or what have you and I wanted to start sharing again my doll plans for you know any specific doll that I have this time being this doll right here because um He's going to need a lot more to get him together than I thought he needed. Uh, <laughs> I thought I was prepared for him until he arrived and I put a face on this face on him and realized that he needed things that I do not have any of. I just have none of it. It's kind of it's sort of frustrating in a way because I hadn't planned on that, but also kind of exciting because it means, you know, that I can get stuff together for him and slowly see him come together and that means I can focus on him more rather than you know having him be all done and feel like feel like putting him aside to focus on someone else I kind of want to focus on him for a while so I'm glad I get to actually <laughs> so I don't know I just want to share about what I'll be doing with him in the future especially since um it's going to cost money that I just do not have right now. <laughs> I mean, let's be true as well. I just do not have it right now. But, um, um, with that though, <laughs> it will come together eventually. It's just going to take much longer than I anticipated, especially since, yes, he pretty much needs everything at this point. Um, <laughs> it's like with the eyes, he right now is wearing Mako eyes that I had in my... Will you cooperate? Thank you. He's wearing Mako eyes that I had in my Zoom Sard. And as you can see, they are quite lovely. Um, they're actually even catching the light a little bit. They're blue. And they're... I just... I find them so stunning. But, problem is, these eyes are from my Sard and I kind of don't want to take them away from it, from him. And even though these characters are connected, which I will explain in his character video that I'm going to do next, though they are connected, I want them to have different eyes. I don't know. I want them all to have different eyes. So I will be getting him Mako eyes definitely though because these eyes catch the light so much better than the um, Zoom Silicone eyes I had in him because his eye wells are just, they're just small. So they weren't catching any light. It was actually really frustrating because I actually really love those Suma eyes, but I need something more for him. So they're definitely going to be Mako eyes because I love these in him. But I'm thinking they're going to be green. I I don't know. I'm just obsessed with getting him green eyes. Please, if, if you um, have ideas on that or if I should stick with the blue, let me know. But I, I don't know, I keep having that idea in my head. And it'd be from the same line as these eyes. These are Gemini eyes from Mako Eyes. And um, I'm just in love with them. They're from the first sets of eyes they actually made. And I was one of the few people to actually really love them. People much more prefer the new eyes they've come out with. And I actually can see why. But I really love the... Um, Astro the ones they had after the astrological signs because they were kind of weird 
and also really bright. I don't know. I just, I just really love them. And that's why I ended up getting them for both, um, my Sard and I actually have them in Mr. Um, bright Side, my, excuse me, my Mecca Angel Savic. But, uh, yeah, I, I decided to go with Mako Eyes for him. Not glass, which I had figured I would because glass can be really bright. But definitely want to try some Mako Eyes in him and, and see how that works out. I also have finally figured out his wig situation. I'm going to actually end up getting him two. One will be mohair wig in turquoise. I'm it's a must for him. I want him to have a mohair wig in a really bright color. And I decided on turquoise because I thought that would go the best with just his resin, resin tone, and also the face up I did on him. And I want that for him because I want to be able to braid it and put it back in the ponytails, like messy ponytails. I think it'd be super cute for him and really fit his character a lot. But, <laughs> at the same time, mohair wigs can be pains in the butt, just like this wig is being. <laughs> like, I love long wigs, I love floofy wigs, I just adore them, but um, sometimes when you just want to take a doll out and you just want things to be simple, that's when I really really reach for fur wigs. So I'm also going to get him a fur wig from Spite and Malice, also in turquoise, but that one may have an orange streak in the front. I'm really obsessed with that. <laughs> so I think that's going to happen, definitely. But regardless of whether I get the streak or not, he will have a fur wig, um, preferably from her, because I love her wigs. Um, and that will be for like if I want to take him traveling or something. Just need something simple. As for clothes, I've decided he he um, will be primarily dressed from Tata's Paradise and Another Dimension from Alice's Collections. I actually had thought this style would be for Loki, my dolly's noir, but it turns out his character likes to keep things super casual and pretty much prefers just jeans in a hoodie with like a simple t-shirt but all in black and red. Now him, he likes to wear a mix of like a goth punk style. He likes to wear a lot of black but he doesn't like to combine it with red. He likes to combine it with like really bright colors. So he'd wear like like a black shirt and like hot pink pants. He'd wear something like that. Uh, <laughs> and he and so, like, in looking at these two places, I realized if I mix and match and stuff like that, I would pretty much get down the style that's in my head for him. So that's going to take forever to get because those clothes are expensive. Though I did find out that you can get another dimension on Taobao, so I'm going to look into that further. Um, but I'm definitely, that's definitely where most of his clothes are going to come from. I also found out he's obsessed with tennis shoes. Now, right, right now, he is wearing boots that I've had on many a doll and I think I've showed you them on other dolls but <laughs> the thing about it is um, no other doll I have can stand in these shoes mysteriously he can not only can he stand in them he stands like a rock like he is super solid in them it's so weird <laughs> but um, yeah he can stand, stand in them very well so these boots now belong to him but he is very fond of wearing tennis shoes, but not just like um, regular looking tennis shoes, but like ones that are like metallic colors or really bright colors. He He's just very into that. So I found a place on Taobao like that. And I also, there's a place on eBay that I can't remember the name. I, I'm not sure if it's Release Rain, but there's a, there's a shop on there that, that other people have used for shoes that I'm going to be getting shoes for him from and it's going to be so great I love it so for style that is what he um, has so far as for other dolls in his storyline I need to get him his wife which is a, going to be a midget doll Gina girl I'm obsessed with getting him a midget doll Gina girl to be his wife to the point where I've already bought her clothes and wigs <laughs> it's going to take forever to get her together though because well, first I have to, you know, be able to buy her, but at the same time, I also want to decide what 
body to put her in. I want her to be shorter than him. Doesn't have to be by much, but just as long as there's a, a height difference. But um, the bodies I've found that are shorter than him, I have yet to see one that looks right proportion, proportionate proportion wise with the head I'm going to of course keep looking I'm sure I'm I'm just overlooking a thread needed on Den of Angels I'm sure there's something where it shows more more of the midget doll heads as girls but I'm not finding many um the one body I wanted to get which was the mirror doll body I've seen a midget doll head on the girl body and the, the neck just seemed really short I feel like if only the neck could be longer that body would have worked proportion wise but it's just too short and I can't get over it <laughs> so um, I'm going to figure that out and that will be his wife he also needs a husband um, I will explain this in his backstory video that I'm going to do after this one but he also has a husband and uh, I keep going back and forth and making it my um, Simply Divine Harlequin head I don't know why I cannot I also can't get that out of my head, but I don't know. I'm not going to pigeonhole that that um, the, my Harlequin Quinn head into that character, which I keep feeling like I am. I'm going to keep looking around and see if I can find anyone. The only thing I know is that I want him to be taller, and the only one um, dolls that will be taller than him are 70 centimeters. Um, unless I go for 90, which I'm not. <laughs> 190 centimeter doll is pretty much all I feel I can handle at the moment. <laughs> um, so that's, um, so husband and wife. But there's one more doll that I need to get for his story. And Winnie BJD actually knows about this because I asked her for a picture of said doll with a doll in his size range because I was like, Will this look ridiculous or will it look like it does in my head? It looks like it does in my head. It looks so cute. Basically, I'm going to be getting him personally a Masked Doll Aruna. Um, the reason why is because I want her to be this character in his story that is also a demon. Because if you did not know, he's, he's a demon. Um, he's actually the Demon King, to be fair. <laughs> but um, she would be this little mischievous, mischievous demon who just, she gets in so much mischief, but she's so tiny. She used to be a pixie, um, and she got bit by a werewolf and became at what I've been calling my demons, which is in between. So he, she became in between one of the uh, both of them and so she's like this little pixie werewolf thing that just she flits around and gets into so much trouble and a lot of people cannot stand her but in his eyes she cannot do she can do no wrong he loves her dotes on her thinks she's the cutest little thing basically she's like a daughter to him um he just loves her <laughs> so that's what she would be to him like a kind of like little daughter daughter figure who's this tiny tiny little thing of trouble it'll be so adorable it, um winnie bjd she uh or just winnie um she took a picture of her belina um named thistle with her um tallest boys which happen to be in his size range i think he's like a centimeter taller you know whoop de doo um she took a picture of them with her and it was so adorable I almost couldn't stand it. I was like it looks so cute so that will be one of the future dolls I get for him though I will focus on getting his wife first simply because I'm I'm way too obsessed with getting my Midget Doll Gina girl <laughs> like way too obsessed it's kind of funny so those are the dolls I have in mind his clothing style and wigs and eyes it's going to take forever to get all these things, but as I get them, I will sh make sure to share them with you and, you know, get your opinions on how they look on him. But I think turquoise hair and green eyes would look so super great on him. I don't know. I'm just obsessed with him being mostly bright, but then wearing a lot of black. I don't, I don't know. I'm just obsessed. <laughs> so that's it for that. And hopefully you will bear with me as stuff slowly, slowly comes in for him. And as I probably complain about the fact that I don't have the money for said items, etc. <laughs> so, um, 
yeah <laughs> that's going to be great a great journey for us all but um let me finish this video because it's super long and i'm very sorry and i'm going to move on to his character backstory what i have so far that's probably going to be even longer than this one so i apologize in advance and thank you so much if you you watch these ridiculously long videos i'm so sorry um and i'll talk to you later bye